I'm telling you right now, don't believe that stuff you read in the newspapers. The reason that we have a fuel shortage in this country is because our gas tanks aren't big enough. <laughs> so this week in Handyman Corner, I'm gonna put a man-sized gas tank into the possum van. <laughs> now, originally I was thinking of just uh, popping this 45-gallon unit in there, but uh, I don't think this thing is really gonna do the job. It's not gonna hold enough gas to cover off the gas mileage problem that I had with the van. I suppose I could change the plugs and points once in a while, but I don't want to get into that. So instead, what I need is a gas tank the same size as the whole van. Now, of course, once I fill this unit up with gasoline, I need some way to get that gas into the real gas tank to go up into the engine. No problem. Just hack a hole in the floor and let gravity do the work. <laughs> Of course, now, before we start throwing a couple of thousand gallons, you know, into this unit, you want to plug up anywhere that uh, gasoline might seep out around the windows and so on. Because you don't want to be driving down the highway with the gas just roaring out of them. <laughs> Not at today's prices. <laughs> so what I've done is I've gone all the way down the dashboard here, covered up wherever I thought the gasoline might leak around, uh, the headlight switch and the windshield washers. And of course, I got the heater, the heater vent there. She's all closed up and uh, especially did a little extra duct tape around the uh, dimmer switch, because I know the floor is kind of rusty there. But, uh, <laughs> that should hold her, and, uh, and do it properly. You know, that, that, that'll take you maybe uh, 10 to 15 minutes to do it right, you know? <laughs> and of course, once you've done that, then you gotta go down the outside and do the windows and the doors and, of course, all the rust holes. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you, that is one tight-sealed van. Now all I have to do is go down to the local fill-up station and load her up with about a year and a half supply of gasoline. So remember, if the women don't find... <laughs> oh, golly. All right, all right, okay. Rethink, rethink. This is good, this is good, because the mark of a true handyman man is his ability to adapt to, you know, changing conditions, safety regulations, that kind of thing. <laughs> so what am I gonna do here? Must be full of gas. Maybe a snorkel unit of some kind, or maybe radio control. I know, I know, you know the flying bridge, flying bridge like they have on those cabin cruisers. So what I'll do is, I'll, yeah, I'll move the whole dashboard unit up onto the roof and, okay, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a whole new dashboard unit. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, this has gotta be a piece of good news for all you small car owners out there. Now, uh, I've hooked everything up, obviously, to run the, uh, run the whole unit, uh, and I duct tape her on. You might wanna weld it, but if you are gonna weld it, I would suggest that you do all your welding before you fill the van up with gasoline. Right? And you might want to keep an eye out for the maximum height on the low bridges and so on. <laughs> Let's give her a little test drive right now. So remember, the women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. Hey, Red Green here with a brand new one-man show. That last one wasn't a complete disaster, so we've decided to try it again with new stories, new jokes, new advice, and whatever else it is that I do. It's the How to Do Everything Tour, and it's going to start right here in Canada this coming fall. So get a couple of tickets for yourself, or you know, it would make a dandy gift for a friend or a relative. To get all the details, go to redgreen.com and click on the How to Do Everything Tour. Meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>